Hi, good morning. Um, this is Daphne. Welcome to my channel, Everything Daphne. Today we're going to do Bible study. Me and my groupmates, we are in Genesis 45. Um, so we have been studying, uh, but right now we're in the story of Joseph. And um, particularly, what stood for me? What stood out for me? is um how joseph um has been able to provide not only for like egypt like the whole of egypt and then he's also able to sell uh to all the other land parts of the land and these people are still like they're two years in like you know the famine that was in the whole world then and they're like two years in and they still have so much to even give the others and still have also enough for Egypt. And all this came from from Joseph, from God helping Joseph to have to interpret uh the dream for the king. And and Joseph is put in charge of of the of Egypt and on and, 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 and the and I don't know how I can say, how I can say it, but yeah, he's put in charge of 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 of, of the stock of Egypt and all that. Yeah, so go anyway, go read. We are in chapter forty five right now. Feel free to start from chapter forty five. Me and my group miss we are in chapter forty five. Feel free to start from there and read and yeah. So so yeah. And and so what amazes me is this this shows who God is. Um in Second Corinthians chapter nine verse hmm I think it's verse eight. It was about that God is able to give you enough for yourself and also enough to support charities, support people. Um, I always imagine and think about uh, people who say they are rich. Um, yet, in order to support you, you have to first pay for, for some. Let's say maybe somebody is giving you a lift to somewhere. They'd be like, oh, you have to pay for the fuel. I'm not saying it's bad for someone to make you pay for the fuel. Maybe it's good for them to to be to be financially. I don't know what I can call it. Yeah, people have good reasons for asking you money for fuel and all that. But I'm talking about this kind of wealth where you're able to really support people and be like, oh, this child needs transport to go to school. I'll offer them. I'll offer them because you have enough for yourself and also enough to help others and this is a kind of wealth i know in that we have in in god through jesus christ um he has done that for us in jesus christ and we are grateful we are grateful um so we see this in joseph anyway very many people especially my groupmates my groupmates are going to see different things in the bible study me this is what i'm seeing <laughs> Then maybe we're going to yeah, my, my groupmates are going to say different for me. This is what I'm saying. I'm saying the abundance, how God is able to make you have enough. Because I'm thinking, Joseph, you're giving, you're telling your brothers to take stuff for their family, and yet you're just two two years in the famine. And I'm like, okay, how about the five years, five years to come? But this shows how clearly um these guys um God has provided for them, you know. God has provided for them so much that they are able to even sell out, sell to other people, and also have enough for themselves. So it it really shows me um, God and His um, provision that when something is of God, when God provides for you, you will know because it will not only be for you alone it will be also you know in the bible where some uh, you know in the bible where um jesus talks about a tree having a tree and then people are also able to have shade in that tree that is something like about god's god's provision and god's supply in our lives whenever he does of course he has really supplied for us in jesus christ and we believe even before we see but when you see, actually, you actually see, like, this kind of provision where you have enough, uh, not only for yourself, 
also for the people around you and that's the goal we serve and so we thank him that we are rich uh in jesus christ jesus became poor so that we are rich and so we thank him and we believe in in him so today declare that i am rich thank you for listening to me um feel free to comment because uh we are in, about, we are in chapter 45 feel free to read and comment and share what you what you what the holy spirit has inspired you in that chapter um yes uh, subscribe like comment uh we must we might post another another something about the bible or any other thing just uh keep excited you are blessed you are loved good morning uganda